The mysterious automatic upgrade feature in Clash of Clans. What exactly is it? How do you get it? Let's make it happen in this video when I log in for the first time in over 100 days. Welcome back to the channel then guys, I'm your host Judo Sloth. This is one of my rushed accounts, just upgraded to Town Hall 11 and that is important when it comes to the auto upgrade feature. I am going to trigger it on this base. It was added in the June 2020 update, explained as an improved experience for returning players. It will only activate after 90 days of inactivity, and there are a few things that if you want the best value you need to know. It will not upgrade your town hall. Everything else though is fair game. It will upgrade heroes, defenses, your troops within the lab. But we did hear from community manager Darian that it upgrades at a slower rate than if you were to just log in and collect your mines and pumps. I'm not sure if he factored in taking defenses and losing resources though, because that's an advantage of the upgrade feature. Oh, the other thing, it will not build new buildings so we should probably place a lot of the new defenses down so that it can actually go ahead and auto upgrade these in the background. I'm actually going to go ahead and spend some of my elixir. Why don't I upgrade the lab? Because that might actually mean that the troops within the lab can be upgraded even further with the auto upgrade feature. All there is left to do is log out for a minimum of 90 days. Why don't we round this up to 100? Hey Siri, can you add an event to my calendar in 100 days time for the auto upgrade account? What time is your appointment? 1418. Of course, Judo. The 18th of August. Wow. I guess I'll see you guys in three months. actually been 109 days. I have been extremely busy the last week. How do I look? Have I aged much in the last three months? Let's find out what the auto upgrade feature looks like though. I cannot wait. I actually went ahead and removed this account from my iPad in terms of the Supercell ID so that we didn't accidentally log in and mess up this entire video. So I'm going to have to Resign into this account. Here we are. The information has been inputted. Load game account. This is it. The auto upgrade feature. And there we go. Not a step closer. This is awesome. I have never played through this and I'm so excited to actually see what the auto upgrade feature looks like. I know a disguised goblin when I see one. The cheek of that villager. Let's continue, no. We are done with our resources being stolen by everyone. I apologize. I have been busy the last 109 days. So this is what happens when you log in for the first time. You do get this little tutorial. You won't get anything without a fight. Am I having to take down the villager? Oh my gosh, what is this? Your village. This is not... Is this what my village looks like? I mean, it's not the same layout, but perhaps this is how upgraded my base is. Look at all of the walls. We didn't have any walls even near that level. There's a couple of them that are level seven, I think that is. Mine were all level one. There is not a single level one wall in this base. I have the same army cooked up. It's my farming army. So what I normally do, I mean, Am I attacking this seriously? There's no battle timer. Take down an air defense. There's still no battle timer. This is awesome. Okay, well, I guess we should take down this air defense as well. The expos are completely gone. I mean, we don't have to worry about them alongside the multi and the single target inferno. Am I literally just attacking? This is weird. I thought the villager might have popped in and gave me some sort of advice. Reinforcements arrive in 10 seconds. What type of reinforcements? What's happening? Did it just restock my troops? Is that all it did? 
Let's spam some in. Let's spam some troops in. I kind of wish I hadn't taken down that air defense. Reinforcements in 10 seconds. So the baby dragons right now. Is it going to go back up to 22? Is that what happened? Oh, it went to 23. Oh my goodness. There's reinforcements again. I'm going to try and spam in all 23. Let's go now. All of them in, all of them in. There we go. How many baby dragons can we get? <laughs> Look at them go. This is, there's even more reinforcements. Will it give me another hero? I doubt it. I doubt it. We've got the king in. Look at all of those baby dragons. Oh, we only get another seven. I thought it was restocking me to the maximum every single time. I wonder what would happen if I had a different army, though, because I had already cooked up the baby dragons. That's why it's giving me that. And it appears like it's just sending the seven baby dragons every time. How many could I get? How many do I have on the map already? This is awesome. I can't believe that we have seen that. I took a screenshot just in case we use that for the thumbnail. But wow, look at all of the baby dragons. This is epic. Do we get even more? The perfect against my village. But that's just the start of it. I want to see what my village is like. 61 baby dragons. That's like 600 troop capacity. 610 to be precise. I've got a screenshot that one. Might use it as a bit of a teaser to this video. How did I use that amount of baby dragons? Put it out on Twitter or something. See if anybody gets it. Oh my goodness. You're pretty strong for a goblin. I've upset the villager. Well, I do apologize. You're not a goblin. Of course I'm not. I could have told you that 10 minutes ago. Sheep, is it really you? Thank goodness you are back. Isn't that fantastic? Let's see what we have in store. Sorry for mistaking you for a goblin, Sheep. All good. All good. A lot has happened since you left. Let's go meet everyone. This is awesome. We've already got to attack my base, but this is what I was looking forward to. What does my base look like after 100 days of inactivity? This is what happens. Oh my word. There's arrows everywhere. What is going on? Okay. Well, obviously, I have had some upgrades in the lab, so let's check that first. I am already loving this video. Can't wait to see the upgrades. And I quickly want to thank you all for the support. We are so close to 30% of you guys subscribed. So if you enjoy my content, go ahead. Feel free to do so. I appreciate it. Lots of noise coming from the laboratory. Okay, does that mean we've had lots of research going on with the troops and spells? I think the wizards finished some research for you. Yes! Oh my gosh, look at that! We've got the rage spell, hound, some dark elixir upgrades there as well in terms of the valkyrie and the lava hound. Minions, yeah, but I, I know that one's pretty cheap. Healers to level four. And start doing some queen charges. And that was just the lab. See if we have some resources to start something else right away. Is it giving me a full-blown tutorial here, just like when I started the game? Oh, I was going to say, I thought there was going to be not enough resources for something else, but I can actually upgrade one of these troops. It doesn't look like it's making me, though, so I'm actually going to leave that for the moment. And it appears it's going to do the same stuff. What about the barracks, though? Is this troops that have unlocked? Find out. The troops are really excited to have you back. Look at the smile on the villager's face. I love it. I bet training will be really fast. You should train an army right away. I have an army already trained. That's hilarious. Yeah, I mean, thanks for that. It's a nice little way of teaching everybody, though, if you are returning to the game. I purposely was inactive, but if you had deleted Clash of Clans and you come back, it's really cool to see this. Early villagers drop resources. Let's collect them and start some upgrades. Look at that. The loot cart is at 14 million golden elixir. 140,000 dark elixir. Taking a lot of screenshots this episode. Not sure when I last had a loot cart that full. If you don't know how the loot cart works, after only three days of inactivity, it starts moving up over and goes up in increments based on your town hall level and how long you have been inactive. 
My storage is all full after that. We still need to show a comparison of this base. Is it wanting me to click the Builder Hut or the Gravestone? I think the arrows, yeah, it's it's glitching around. Look, it moved up to the Gravestone, then it moved back to the Builder Hut. Look at that. I think it wants me to touch the Gravestone, but out of curiosity, I'm going to touch the Builder Hut. Oh, it was the Builder Hut. Damn. Okay, well, let's see what the builders have in store. They have had quite a vacation. Builder built some things while you... They didn't! They've been auto-upgrading in the background, of course! One builder, though. That says builder built. Has it only had one builder working? Is that where it balances, like Darian was saying, in terms of when this was released? Please sign your approval here, and here, and here. This is going to be awesome. Look at it! Yes! Oh! My goodness, 125 wall pieces to level two. And look at all of the others. That's incredible. We even got a one piece of wall, the chosen one, upgraded to level 10. Look at all of the upgrades, the expos to level two, three, four. Is that a single expo or is that one expo to level two, one to level three? Going to have to have a look. The air sweeper right on through. Barbarian king level 20, queen level 24. Now I wrote this down for myself. Everything was boosted on the old clips, but the king was level 16, so he's only gone up four levels. The queen was 21, so she's only gone up three levels. The grand warden was level one, so he has also only gone up three levels. I love the fact that it upgrades your heroes, though. It is so cool. Builder also had plans for what we could be doing next. Okay, again, I think this is just a returning thing, letting you know that you can click the suggested, and yeah, there we are. It will tell me. Oh, but we got all of that loot as well, didn't we? So we can actually upgrade the clan castle. If you didn't see my upgrade guide for every town hall level, Clan Castle is always top of my list. It's offense, defense, and we need to look at the two bases though and give a bit of a comparison. The Archer Queen might as well get her to level 25. Barbarian King we can upgrade as well. Quickly do these upgrades and then I want to do a comparison. Let's actually go with all three heroes. Why not? That is pretty cool. And I can also, I guess the army camp should be the other one that we upgrade. But in terms of the base, if we were to just overlay here the previous base which we had prior to the upgrade feature and now you can see this one it's actually upgraded quite significantly and this was only 100 days can you imagine if we weren't active for a year or maybe even more than that welcome back that's a pretty good offer 15 times value wow that's incredible i mean it's not like it's groundbreaking you get 2.5 million gold 500 gems though but 89 pence that like one dollar our base has upgraded pretty good maybe we can upgrade a base all the way to town hall 14 like my level one account and then we can leave the auto upgrade feature see what happens after a longer period of time but there you are the auto upgrade feature that is what happens when you do not log in for over 100 days if you want to see when i completed the entire season pass all together it was my favorite video i have it linked on the screen right here alongside the subscribe button you guys take care and i will see you in the next